They have the capacity to brand and fuel 2,000 bottles per hour. Three different types of traditional drinks are produced at this factory in Chiranga district. Forest Africa, a local company, was given a grant of $47,000 by the Zambia Agribusiness and Trade Project under the Ministry of Commerce, which is funded by the World Bank. With the enhanced capacity, we are now sitting around 15,000 liters you know, of juice per, you know, per month, which is really quite good. You know, in terms of improvement. Another company which has been funded is Creamy Heaven, which was given a grant of $90,000 to scale up its ice cream business. Six, seven months I started supplying nationwide. Even the, until uh, Kitwe, Copper Belt, even the southern province until Livingston, even eastern province until the Malawi border I started supplying. And I have got even the outlet there in Chipata. Afriseed is another beneficiary of World Bank funding and the company has now ventured into exports covering three neighboring countries. I believe this partnership is not only for now, but it's also for the future. Uh, because with climate change, I think we need to ensure that we, we are more um, well ahead. A team from the World Bank has toured the three beneficiaries to appreciate the progress made since they received the funding. We'll also introduce a, a credit line. Right, so working with banks, with the financial sector, so that companies like these ones we saw, right, Af Afric Seeds or this uh, ice cream factory, who has been very successful, who are on a growth path, can access also, also credits. What we are doing as a project is we are looking at those SMEs and uh, farmers that are high growth oriented uh, uh, farmers because we don't want to support a business that will not add value to the economic well-being of this country. With the success of this first round of funding under the Zambia Agribusiness and Trade Project, the World Bank is considering another round of funding to small businesses in Zambia. Paul Shalala, ZNBC News in Chiranga District.